The final term we are going to introduce here is self-regulation. A significant characteristic of some processes is their tendency to adopt a specific value of control variable for nominal load with no control operation at all. So the control operations may be significantly affected by such self-regulation. The process of uh, the following figure has self-regulation as shown uh, by the following argument. For example, suppose we fix the steam valve at 50%. Here is the steam valve. And we open the control loop so that no changes in valve are possible. So the controller will not control the valve. So we open the connection here. Then, second, the liquid will heat up until the energy carried away by the liquid here is equivalent to the input energy from the steam flow. So energy in equivalent to the energy out. So if the load change, a new temperature is adopted, meaning that any of the load, maybe the flow rate, the ambient temperature, the T0, the temperature uh, of the steam changes. So the new TL will occur. This is because the system temperature is not under control. It is open loop. The process is self-regulating because the temperature will not run away, meaning that it will stay at the specific temperature until uh, uh, due to the uh, balance between the, the input energy and the output energy. So if the uh, uh, if we change, let's say we change the steam valve from 50 to 60, then the temperature will rise and stable at another temperature. 